Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Just lift your hands and let's acknowledge Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Jesus, we bless you. We honor you. It is unto you that we are gathered tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your spirit in our midst. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Hallelujah. Father, give me a testimony tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Give me a testimony. My faith insists that I will not go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand I'm not in doubt that you are able for you are God alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone you are God alone, you are God alone. from before time began you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. For all time begins. You are on your throne. Sing it one more time until we you are God in your alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began. Fill me up hey. till I overflow. I wanna run. I wanna run over. Fill me up hey. till I overflow. I wanna run. Sing with faith in your heart. I wanna run. Oh. Fill me up to lie on the floor. To lie on the floor. I want to run. Oh, I want to run. I want to run. Oh, fill me up to lie on the floor. I want to run. I want to run. Oh, I want to run. Oh, Please feel me up. Feel me up. Let it be a cry tonight. No 
anointing, fresh favor, fresh grace, fresh peace. Lift our hands forever. We will hear Yahweh. We will hear Yahweh. Here we stand and lift our voices. Oh Lord, forever we hear Yahweh. Forever we hear Yahweh. Let me sing. Here we stand uh, and lift our hands. Tonight we hear Yahweh. Forever we hear Yahweh. Lord, here I stand and we lift our voices. Forever we hear Yahweh. Forever we hear and we will hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. We 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 And I hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. Yes, I stand. I lift my voice. And I will hear Yahweh. Hear Yahweh. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. It is unto you that we are gathered tonight for no man can do these things except God be with him Lord there are people here tonight trusting you for all kinds of things I pray oh God that you would rend the heavens in your power visit us in a very dramatic way change lives deliver the oppressed lord let it be a time worth spent in your presence i pray in the name of jesus christ that tonight you will be glorified in the name of jesus christ demonstrate your power your sovereignty your love and your kindness in our midst in the name of jesus christ amen prophesy to someone tell him your life is about to change say it like you believe it your life is about to change god bless you please be seated hallelujah hallelujah i'm happy seeing everyone um we have a lot to do tonight thank you jesus and so we're going to trust god for speed hallelujah those outside uh, overflow one two three can you shout hallelujah 
praise the lord i'll teach for a few minutes and then we will pray hallelujah i want to share with us something tonight that i believe is very powerful oh hallelujah praise the lord romans chapter 15 i welcome everyone this is our miracle service for the month of april and the lord will do us good romans chapter 15 and verse 4 i want to share a powerful principle seems to be a bit windy outside we apologize for those outside romans 15 and verse 4 are we there it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime it says were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture we might have hope whatever no just 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 verse four whatever has been written in other words every time you read the bible every story every epistle every letter in it is a revelation that is applicable the bible says that they are written for our learning meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust god that by the application of the same we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of jesus christ i prayed with all my heart for this meeting and i trusted the lord and i still do that he truly will visit us i think the worship team captured it in a most profound way all the issues that we may need the hand of god to come upon healing deliverance etc let's look at joshua chapter 6 the book of joshua chapter 6 there are a few lessons we can learn the bible already records that everything that is written in the bible is for our learning that through the comfort of scripture we might find hope joshua chapter 6 it's a very interesting story um the lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here and i want to share part of it with us verse 1 okay it's projected now jericho was straightly shut up why because the children because of the children of israel and it says none went out and none came in imagine ladies and gentlemen a situation where a city is shut nothing is allowed to go out through it nothing is allowed to come out it's a description of the lives of many people the bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out and it means it cannot receive anything it cannot give and it cannot receive are we together now and then the bible says verse 2 and the lord said unto joshua see i have given into thy hand jericho and its king and the mighty men of velo this is god speaking verse 3 and ye shall compass the city all ye men of war and go round about the city once thus shall thou do six days verse 4 and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpets verse 6 and joshua the son of Nun called the priests notice now and he said unto them take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the lord now look up we're going to continue but the bible is describing something very interesting here do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy jericho the bible never said they fought and they said let's enter so what was it about jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey i thought that they would fight god said i've given you the land how can you wait seven days fight defeat a city and then keep moving that meant jericho was not just a city 
Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out. Meaning if you found yourself in that city, there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside. Nothing could go out. Nothing could come in. Are we together? A city so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city. And then Joshua the son of Nun, notice the strategy. In order to defeat this city, he said, I know you have men of war, but now I need the priests, not men of war. Gather the priests and then introduce the Ark of the Covenant and then surround, keep going around that challenge with the Ark. Notice this, don't talk, don't do anything, just carry the Ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified there is no human way of crumbling that city but he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show joshua that what you see is not all there is if you fight physically there is a force that makes jericho jericho and that even if you pass jericho in peace jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what i'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed to be broken in jericho for their journey to be successful A city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens but the city is fortified nothing can go out nothing can come in when the Lord look let me tell you something about God the tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting when he went to Egypt he didn't say Moses let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever he said no Egypt is not just Egypt because they have men of war there are spirits and so take this rod now he's telling he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests I thought you would confront the king. He said, leave the king alone. Carry my presence. Carry the ark. Start going around. Encompass. That was the language. Just keep going around that city with my presence. Don't utter a word. Let my presence keep going around. Six days. This is what you will do. And the Bible says that they continue that way verse 11 so the ark of the lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day listen carefully that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days only that on that day they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords carry the ark go round that challenge go round jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this 
Listen, let me tell you this. Jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people. The, the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution. Are we together? But the system here, the first thing is look for the priest. If you cannot find a priest, then there cannot be victory. You can find men of war, but this one requires priesthood. It is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built Jericho. Are we together? The Bible says here, we have been made unto our God, kings and priests. There is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness. They would have shouted, they would have tried fighting and they would have died. I believe if they tried to fight Jericho, the men of Jericho would not use swords. The mystery that built Jericho will fight them. And yet on this occasion, the Lord tells Joshua, your sword is useful, but now, not for now. Your voice is useful, but not for now. Go around Jericho. Those walls you see were not just physical walls. Those walls, the physical walls you see were a representation of something. He said, go around it. Tonight the Lord has brought his presence. And let me tell you, what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of God and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks is a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the act and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over The Bible says, so the people shouted, verse 20, when the priests blew the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the Bible says the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down flat, meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone. The walls that five chariots could stay sank. Something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation. In other words, the building was never the issue. You will be deceived to think because the building is large. It is a function of the engineering. And here God is revealing and said, Joshua, don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest Take the ark, blow the trumpet, and let there be a shout. And you will watch Jericho. Notice, the Bible says when Jericho fell down flat, the Bible says the people entered and killed everything inside, and they carried the treasures. So that city was fortified, and God challenged them to destroy that, but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives. There was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what i'm saying and god said don't act like you would not need what is in jericho stay and destroy pay the price crumble the city pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people since the people did not want to open and close it's a sign of peace I can just leave them but you leave them you will need the treasure that is in jericho because you see satan never has anything that is own is his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation 
and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual 
there is no Jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in Jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can go in you can come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved I'm not sure Rahab you can see that Rahab was part of God the army of God but listen the Bible says that she was stuck there her too could not go out and come in for as long as she was in there she was called Rahab the prostitute until she came out of that dungeon did she become one of the the, the genealogy the lineage of Jesus for as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school god masters god phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory 
there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me the bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God. Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern, an order of operation. He waited 
there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him Are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true listen when you hear people testifying ah uh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Habba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child 
but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly at earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be 
there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho for? when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh Yahweh, our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. we look to Yahweh. soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say oh lord when will my breakthrough come and god will say the day a priest comes all of a sudden the priest agrees and god's will continues moving a priest refuses and god remains moses was wise he said lord i already know you too well don't ever let us go here if your presence if that I could not go before us, I'm not going. No, Moses said, Because my going is as good as wasting my time. 
I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do, when you read Second Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your mercies endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one. And the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a god, enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same Jericho that causes barrenness. It is still Jericho. The Bible didn't say Jericho. Do you know, look at the interesting thing. Jericho fell flat, but the woman who stayed in the fence, how God delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand. But the Bible tells us everything fell down flat. To break every chain, Break every chain. 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 It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Brothers and sisters, we're about to pray. But I plead with you in the name of the Lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks. And you will watch the wonder in your life. Stop focusing on physical things. You will cheat yourself a thousand times. Nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own. If anything on earth stands, there is a force keeping it. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break 
every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. The type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do and I'm shocked. I say life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. Hallelujah. I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together i got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem, provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Habalakato Arepata 
Listen, look at me. I want you in the mind of your spirit. Look at that job issue. Look at that issue and say, I will no longer be deceived. You are not the problem. The problem is Jericho. It is never that the business cannot work. It is never that helpers cannot come. Once Jericho is still standing here, nothing can go in. Nothing can come out. Lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirits. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon Are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah
God himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m. when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and God says these things are inferior I come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness I am the light are we together I want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family I tell you the truth when we begin to pray and I begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy 
i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now
you know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes hey, her eyes your name is sephia how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes i'll pray for all of you but in the name of jesus christ i deliver this lady now this lady on red i command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now Sophia, the lord bring liberty liberty now i command those altars to leave you in the name of jesus christ the anointing of the holy ghost bad luck bad luck i take it out of your life the spirit of i'm seeing a lot of bad luck i take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became the same please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola ola i don't know if that's the full name but there's ola ola there's someone with that name ola please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. 
I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are all are interesting. Come. That lady with cap, come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened. Yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical. Physically. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at this. When was that? Last year, May. She appeared. Face to face and tell me, it shall never will be able to. No matter how, whatever you take, that you are not feeling fine, the medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empreketoso bataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life, I curse those people now. I curse those people now. I curse those people now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death Take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing, open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open, shake it, take it, take it, take it, open now, open now, open now, open now. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. You came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry i'll pray for the sick sir if i'm if i don't talk are you allah sir no don't don't come out until i ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year june yes yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you? yes all my body this is what i'm saying i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life 
I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother, this gentleman, come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer, sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row. I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata. Jakaske barika to siyanapata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. I yeah, so one of my say, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow in my life, in my life must, end. must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people. But be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now in the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that's been working on his body like you had an accident leg. yes sir okay and what happened and since then something has been working on his body on his stomach like snake at times the thing will are you seeing what i'm saying so it was never about accident you see accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord will destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into the enemy. Next verse, to 11. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake.
take i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lost my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 
now now now in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now i release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto pakariakata be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 Shh. 
Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. Great grace. New season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. hallelujah praise the lord overflow one i want to minister to you now listen please i want you to believe everything i want to pray for you lift your hands all of you there are some of you here as i'm looking i'm just seeing chains i want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one two three i command that chain be broken now help them please be broken now to the back shakasko pariata zato zesekateria kata be broken broken fire is coming i'm seeing fire moving across the crowd in the name of jesus christ i break every force every yoke of darkness hallelujah are you pregnant come i'm seeing an evil spirit let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go by the anointing of the spirit i release the destiny of this baby you will not lose this baby in the name of jesus christ help her lady praying in tongues in the name of jesus christ the grace for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabas katai jeketes kalabra katozi atakata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Paracato Sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter.
enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here no sir you've been coming madam look at me god is going to change your story completely. amen i don't know you but yes. the lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough amen amen hold my hands look at me there is bad luck on your life my dear good things come but they never stay and the lord is saying to take it away right now be free in the name of jesus i take away that spirit from your life i set you free to move forward in the name of jesus in the name of jesus can we go in who is victoria again? all the victories of victoria be made free right now in jesus name can we go in from here Please, everyone open your mouth and begin to pray prophesy say in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now I release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ I'm standing here and I'm hearing I have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the Spirit of God is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder and the Lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord collect that child quickly from Kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of Jesus I'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. 
Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. This two dimension. The spirit and supernatural resources. That grace. The Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle. A bottle of oil. A bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice. Not only in the area of finances. But a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick. But tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man come. Come. You and this guy. Two of you come. Stand. Step into a new dimension. New dimension. In the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. This guy. Just lift your hands where you are. Come. Enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at people. And I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. 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 From your belly. From your belly. Prophecy. I command those rivers. Makato Sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come, the powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalabarakatos. This usher lady, come in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying. I should tell you, God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata Sotosha, Marikatos, Kobariakata. You will see things before they happen in the name of Jesus with precision, with precision, and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy when are these people that just married this lady welfare where is he now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now 
an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will i will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person 
for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ and what's wrong with you my dear huh fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, jesus. in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come Rakato sodo brende ge barakato shabra diski la baria enda kato sata prakato jala baria kato brende ge degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balaraba. Shakata parakata paroto subrias. Lord, arise in majesty arise in your power visit the case of people change impossible situations in the name of jesus christ lord let this be the last time they will write this in the name of jesus christ let this be the last time they will write this in the name of jesus let this be the last time. Shapa kata pakata 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 pakata. Ende keto rakato shada pragada balada ba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Shapa kata parada baroto soto predegete. Lega taka to prandega te preshada balade bosh. hallelujah 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 please respond with a resounding amen in the name of jesus amen. father this is not a ritual i stand on behalf of your people lord these requests represent different dimensions of demonic jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny father as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen. You're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times. Are we together? As a prophetic act over this. I'm going to guide you and you will shout it. For every one shout, let it represent one day going around Jericho. That at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act and oh god i stand leading your people as we shout that name 
the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now i will call the number and you shout jesus are you ready number one number two crumbling every mountain number three Shabakoto Sopataya Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seven shout let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain in the name of jesus number seven jesus. i decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of jesus christ i command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah i release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted oh ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you 
from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God 
but I release my faith with you. And I declare that by miracle service may, you will only return rejoicing over that issue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here trusting God for a good job, not just a job that you look like a slave, a job with honor. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Between now and next miracle service, may God bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension. Everyone in business here, the God factor, the favor factor, the help factor, the Ebenezer factor, I release it upon your business. I release it upon your field of endeavor. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you. It says, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, may your gates be continually open. Now, I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us. I want to pray that somebody will give you money. Listen. Hold on. Listen. We are not money mongers. This is not some carnal thing. There are some of you, this is what you need. You don't need advice. You don't need counseling. You just need help. Straight help. I pray for you. You will be surprised. It will look like a dream. I pray for you. Not a helper, not access. Thank God for it. But a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you. I stretch my hands and I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for miracles. Help that guy. The anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves yes. in the name of the lord jesus we give you all the praise lifter of men, the beautifier of destinies, we give you praise. Lift your hands and bless him in the spirit. Everywhere, those following us online, bless him in the spirit, worthy of all praise. Ala branda ka kapras ke de bala hasubrash. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute and cry. Visit me tonight, O oh God. Give me a visitation. 
change my life in the name of Jesus. Are you praying with faith in your heart? I came tonight that you will change my life. Step into this situation. Give me a testimony. It is within your power to do so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to really believe the Lord tonight. The Bible says, Withhold not good from your brother when it is within your power to do so. He says, Say not to him, Go, come tomorrow. If you have it now and it's within your capacity, give it. And then he says, If you being evil know how to give good gifts, how much with your, will your heavenly father? I want you to lift your voice and insist and say, Lord, it's tonight. My agreement with you is tonight. Why shift it when the anointing can come upon my life tonight? Why shift it when you can beautify my life tonight? Please pray. It is within your power to lift my family. It is within your power to open my eyes. It is within your power.
lift your voice one more time and insist no power stops me tonight no no there is there is grace there is capacity in the spirit please pray don't be tired this is part of the meeting when you give yourself holy your profiting will appear Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a song of Let's start from verse 2. Habakkuk was a scripture that just came to my spirit while we were worshipping. Verse 2. O Lord, I have heard of thy speech and was afraid. Listen carefully. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Verse 3. God came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. I wish we can get verse 4 in Amplify. It says, And his brightness was as the light. God bless you. Give us verse 4, please. Amplify just verse 4. Let's read together if you are a believer in this place. One to read. And his brightness was like the sunlight. Rays streamed from his hands. And there in that light is the hiding place of his power. There is a place where the power of God hides. There is a place where the might of God. When a man accesses that dimension, he says there in that light that came out of his hand is the hiding place of his power please sit down if you can just for a few minutes i welcome every one of us inside outside those following us online to our april miracle service the lord bless you bless you in the name of jesus we're happy to have prophet jangfa with us bless you jangfa thank you so much hallelujah and I think scattered somewhere, Debbie should be somewhere. One of the old faces, I hope she's around. Uh, Billy Chin also, there are a number of old faces. I honor you, God bless you, and every man and woman of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do a very quick work with us tonight, and um, He has begun that quick work. Praise the Lord. There is a system in the dealings of God with man that until we know and understand, we will never as individuals and as a corporate people be able to enter into, I love, I love you hear that word often here, the possibilities of God. You see, um, limitation is a very dangerous thing in life because it covers you from seeing what else is obtainable 
and the danger of limitation is that the moment you cannot see more your limitation becomes your reference are we together so when we talk about the possibilities of God it's an attempt to stretch us beyond the standard we have known about God beyond the things that we have seen you will only believe God to the limit of what you know or think he can do you cannot believe God beyond the level of your perception and your understanding of his ability my faith and your faith is hinged primarily on my perception of how mighty God is so the apex of his might as defined by my understanding is the limit of my faith are we together now you have to understand this so the difference between any two people is not necessarily their makeup it's not even the will of God it is the dimension of access they have had to the revelation of God access to the mysteries of the kingdom that will separate them into different dimensions the Bible says in that light was the hiding place of his power there is a relationship in the kingdom between light illumination and dominion and power not just dominion in talk the experience of walking in the power the authority and the glory of the kingdom in John chapter 1 verse 5 the Bible says and the light shines in darkness in fact I like it from verse 4 verse 4 says that in him was life listen carefully in him was life then it says that life was the light of men now this is a revelation I can dwell here all through that means when light enters you it changes to life it is light in the exterior but the moment it enters you it translates into life in him was life but when that life was revealed it became light unto men then he says that light has capacity to shine in darkness not discuss with darkness not negotiate with darkness and the bible says and the darkness comprehended it not i've shared it with us here and there again and again that dominion is not an impartation there is no special gift of dominion dominion is the resultant effect of your accurate comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom when you understand the systems of the kingdom and you have sustained grace from God to be able to apply your life will become nothing short of dominion it's not a a privy thing to a few people no there's no impartation for dominion dominion authority exercising kingdom authority is a product of understanding are we together let me tell you something I have discovered in my life by the grace of God in this ministry and around the lives of many great people including our fathers of faith that for any sustainable result in your life it must be built on understanding you can step into a reality based on your alignment with certain kingdom principles like the covenant of a man are we together the servant of Elisha came and Elisha used his covenant with God to open his eyes but the Bible never said his eyes remain open you can step into certain possibilities even because of the kind of atmosphere you find yourself but for anything to be sustainable it must be backed up by understanding it must be backed up by illumination fear this thing we call fear is a spirit but the character of that spirit is such that it takes advantage of darkness when your life is barren of truth and illumination then it magnetizes that spirit and then it puts your life in fear and in bondage the Bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject to bondage so much more than the miracles you will receive and we trust God 
that there be an outpouring in this place tonight I love to see the power of light over darkness it never bores me to see the victorious power of the Lord Jesus Christ at work in the midst of his people how an age-long situation can live overnight at the instance of a revealed word backed up you see the power is revealed through understanding it's not the activity doing spiritual things does not bring power it is understanding understanding is the key that connects the realm of the spirit and the problem in need of the touch of God understanding hallelujah knowledge is very important I'm saying this because we must cultivate a passion much more than receiving miracles much more than wanting impartation much more than a healing a deliverance we must cultivate an appetite not just for rema no no the word that must be understood and the end of understanding is when you know your role in the performance of that equation if you don't know your role you do not understand it the end of understanding is when my part of partnership is revealed to me no matter what you study no matter what you claim to know about God if you have not found your place what you ought to do to make it happen brothers and sisters you will never see the outstretched arm of God I am convinced that what we lack in our generation is not illumination no more than ever before there is no time in human history when information and truth from scripture is made available to people there are electronic devices there are different kinds of bible study works programs commentaries that have already been brought what people lack is understanding so it robs them of entering the experience of what they claim to know and it is dangerous to know a thing and lack the power of performance it is more frustrating it is better to be ignorant but that you know a truth you know a scripture you know that this is a possibility in God but you lack the understanding of how to make it manifest in your life hallelujah illumination light the difference between any two people in the kingdom yes we say it is grace yes we say it is anointing but remember the scripture says grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge there is a kind of knowledge not through any knowledge there is an exact understanding that delivers exact results you can know a dimension of God it will never mean you will see everything through the knowledge there is the knowledge that brings signs and wonders there is the knowledge that brings victory in certain areas there is the knowledge that brings prosperity and increase there is the knowledge that brings honor and influence there is the knowledge that multiplies the anointing so your appetites must be stretched with God to access the knowledge that is responsible for the outcome you desire many of us know what we want but we do not know what it takes to deliver the result this is where the challenge is if I call everyone at random here and I say stand up what do you want very few people will be in ignorance as to what they want someone will say I want a child another person will say I want to come out of poverty another person will say I want a supernatural anointing upon my life another person will say I want God to wipe my tears another song like our awesome worship team Sam beautify my life another person will say Lord take away shame and reproach from my life all these are possibilities that are within the context of the might of God but the key is there is the knowledge that will deliver that result you can have the knowledge that delivers to you the results to be free from barrenness but it will never prosper you you can have the knowledge that will give you a lot of money and financial prosperity but you will never carry the anointing to release supernatural possibilities to people you may never see the gift of the spirit work in your life it is important 
that we realize that light or the absence of it is the reason behind the challenges of many people gathered here tonight yes demon spirits yes principalities and powers but i've taught us here again and again that a stronghold is never a stronghold until there is a faulty mindset a stronghold is when spirits come and create fortification around a pattern of thinking and understanding it is that state that is capable of making the word of god of non-effect in the life of a man are we together now demons don't just veto you and act anyhow they thrive upon your ignorance jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything it is a possibility that satan comes meaning when satan comes his character is to search for what in your life reflects darkness because he is darkness so he finds an area of ignorance and that becomes his access point in your life no matter how much you are excelling in another area it is possible so this answers the question once and for all can a believer still be under the yoke of darkness absolutely yes absolutely yes on the strength of insufficient renewal in the in a dimension it will authorize the gates of hell to rubbish your life until light bails you out hallelujah first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 it has become a national anthem here by the way if you've not listened to the last two series that we've had i think that they are very phenomenal they are very epochal i challenge you especially for those of you um those of us online and those of us who are coming here for the first time please get it and listen are we together now spiritual intelligence and the mystery of exemption you have to listen to it hallelujah first corinthians did i do something wrong again four i think i wrote it down here let's look at it ephesians i'm sorry ephesians 4 18 it says having their understanding darkened having their understanding darkened listen then it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them so although you are a possessor remember our teaching the epistle of john this is the record it's a testimony it's a legal document that god has given us the way that divine life then it says that life is in his son so when you encounter the son you have the life but the bible says ignorance can alienate you from the experience of the possibilities that come with that life so i am a possessor of that life but it is possible i can die ss or as i am a possessor of that life but i can die barry i am a possessor of that life and i can never rise in certain superior dimensions of the anointing i am a possessor of that life but that life is released through knowledge through knowledge through knowledge never forget this there are many people who claim and boast that they are carrying the life of god but the experience of their lives do not show that such a possibility exists within them knowledge knowledge in fact i love the way i think it's isaiah 33 please give us isaiah 33 i hope i'm right um isaiah it should be help me holy spirit isaiah 33 it should be five or six isaiah 33 five or six it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times that's right and wisdom and knowledge shall be what the stability when you find out that there is no dimension of stability in a man's life it is because there is no wisdom and there is no knowledge these two instruments in the spirit govern stability and establishment in the life of a man in the life of a people wisdom and knowledge hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the prophet was lamenting and it's a very interesting scripture because he starts saying my people my people so we're not talking of those alienated from the commonwealth of israel my people he says are destroyed not because of satan for lack of knowledge that means a believer can sustain an understanding and then alongside the grace that comes with that understanding and it will literally
paralyze the possibilities of Satan within your life and within your vicinity. There is such a reality in the spirit that a man can live free of the dominion of Satan and everything he represents. Hast thou considered my servant Job? And Satan testified that I came around him and I could not break that hedge. He said, is it not because you have set a hedge? God did not only do it to Job. Job knew the secrets that would compel that hedge to be there. He says, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, that was the secret. Job knew what to do. Whilst his children went for party, he offered sacrifices in advance. Wisdom, understanding. He said, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches, wealth and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. Let me tell you something. As powerful and mighty as God is, the ultimate key to confidence, the ultimate key to being mightily used by God, much more than just submitting to him, which is important, is that you must have a passion not for careless random spiritual knowledge not everything spiritual is useful for the dimensions you seek to enter i've given us an example if i go to the market and my goal is to make fried fried rice if i see yam will i buy it is yam bad but it's not part of the ingredients required for what i desire if i'm passing around and i see very red palm oil very good one should i buy it well i don't know whether they make fried rice with palm oil but i don't think so so i pass it is that true now when your journey in the spirit becomes such that you are attracted by everything spiritual two things will happen to you number one you will be puffed up with knowledge that is random and cannot produce your results number two your pace will be slowed down you need to have a specific understanding in this season of my life i desire to rise in unction and grace and you limit yourself to the supply of understanding that is responsible for the delivery of that result there are books i've bought for up to two years i've not read them it's not spiritual carelessness the dealings of god with me does not require me to touch those materials now so they are there they are useful but not needed in my work now the times God will shift in that dimension, then I will pick up those books. Knowledge. Very quickly before I pray for you, I want to give you four areas that I believe every believer that wants to do mighty things through and in God in this season must be able to access. Write it down quickly. Number one, in the beginning, God any believer that wants to be mighty you want to walk in the anointing you must have a revelation of god you must know who god is you can know about me by reading my books but you have to meet me to know me and the bible tells us that jesus has come as the expression of the fullness of the image of god so as i study the life of jesus christ I have an understanding of who God is. You see, the Bible is a compendium of God revealed in different dimensions. So that as I study the Bible and as I trust the presence of the Holy Spirit to reveal the reality of Jesus to me, certain things about God. Listen, if you are coming for Koinonia right now and someone stops you by the road and says, Apostle said Koinonia will now hold in PZ. You're not going to listen to that person because that communication based on me that you know that communication is not consistent with how i will behave if there is a need to change venue we have a more intelligent system of communicating it is that true so because of your access to the knowledge of me you know what is not me is that true but if you are a visitor who is coming for the first time never seen me and someone stopped you and said look i think you need to reverse you will go in obedience but you are obeying a wrong information so it's not just obedience it has to be obedience to the right thing there are too many people who are obedient to wrong informations and then they say lord i'm obedient 
you must understand God and understanding Jesus Christ together with everything that redemption brings and together with every reality that comes today in Christ this is the foundation for the victory of a believer you must be able to know who God is what Jesus Christ represented while he walked on the earth and what he means to you now and the quality of life we have discussed it what the Bible calls eternal life remember I told you it's not eternal life everybody has eternal life everybody has everlasting life that rendition is the best of the translators eternal life is a possibility once you are born the parable of the rich fool and Lazarus they all left this realm to another dimension of living and they were all alive could speak so everyone has eternal life and then Zoe I told us let me just do a, a quick recap that Zoe is not just a life superior to the human life because there are many lives that are superior to the human life money alone can create a possibility in your life where the quality of your life becomes higher than that of an average human being you don't have to be born again just that quality are we true divination can open you up to certain possibilities in the spirit where your life becomes higher in quality than that of a human life but it's not eternal life it was john that described to us he said this life is a derivative of an encounter with a person if for any reason you find out that you are living in a higher dimension of living above the normal human life but is outside of an encounter with a person your life is higher than a human life but it is not the way and this life is in his son he that hath the son hath that life you must know this because that light that enters you is what becomes your life that's what immunes you so you are able to manifest possibilities that are not privy to the average human being then you will know that it's possible to walk in health it's not just a, a, an issue of i won't be sick uh -uh, it's not just jacking yourself in empty confusion confession no then you will know that you are able to rise above situations and circumstances not just by empty confession but an experience that is now your reality number two quickly the second dimension of knowledge that I think we need is the knowledge of the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit very few people truly know the Holy Spirit many people know about him there are all kinds of theological exegesis about him you must know his person and you must know his ministry Jesus took out time in John 14 15 16 to introduce us to this personality called the Holy Spirit and the Bible makes us to understand that the success of Jesus was entirely because of the Spirit of God it's impossible to be mighty upon the earth ignoring him receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not knowing the Holy Spirit praying in tongues is not knowing the Holy Spirit walking in miracles is not knowing the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is a person. You can know Him. You can understand His ministry. What a joy. Your life will be a wonder when you know the Holy Spirit. Are we together? You must know the Holy Spirit. Especially if you are in ministry. Listen. I have learned by the grace of God and by experience that the absence of certain things can never be replaced by certain others oratory will never replace the absence of the holy spirit are we together going to school and reading well will never replace the person and the ministry of the holy spirit kneeling down and asking people to give you impartation will never replace a personal press for an encounter and a knowledge with the Holy Spirit miracles signs and wonders will never replace him you can fake power you can't fake his presence are we together you must press to know the Holy Spirit 
I study God's generals and every time I have an opportunity to look at materials that make reference to them one thing was common between them regardless of their limitations and their temperaments they really knew him and their knowledge of the spirit brought accuracy in their lives they did mighty things that we are blessed you must know the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is not a personality to be known by men of God and miracle workers no the Holy Spirit is not a personality that should be known by apostles prophets teachers evangelists pastors no the Holy Spirit is the key to living and when he the spirit of truth is come the Bible says he will guide you into all truth he will guide you hallelujah Holy Spirit can you pray one minute and say Holy Spirit reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever serve you Oh God, you are my God And I will ever follow Lord, I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways Four step, step by five step you lead me And I will follow you all of the way That's where we are bankrupt, no direction We guess our lives and do everything And your lifetime is too small for error your lifetime is too small for repeated mistakes there must be a system in god for accuracy in ministry in family life your vocation whatever it is you cannot live your life just based on science there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but there is a personality for step by step you lead me i admit i'm ignorant but step by step you lead me and i will follow that's my part i won't be too ignorant i won't be too arrogant when he leads me i follow maybe a stupid instruction but i'm too young to question him he's the spirit of the father i trust him you trusted a lecturer who is less than 20 years older than you you trusted a man who called himself your father not more than 30 years older than you and here comes one who was in the beginning the first personality of the trinity revealed and he comes to hold your hands and he said look i took a very frail man called moses and i guided him brothers and sisters this thing is not just skill and talent alone is the foolishness of submission to a personality not a power not just an influence a person some of us have foolishly followed him for years with stupid instructions admitting our ignorance in the the midst of a proud world oh god you are my god just the same and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you i will seek you in the morning i will seek you in the morning and i will learn to walk in your way for step by step you lead me and i will follow you all of my days from tonight step by step you lead you and i will follow you all of my days 
the Holy Spirit was with was with God when they were discussing your destiny it's a foolish thing to not need him in building it no if I was responsible for designing a curriculum and you ignore me when it comes to execution it is called pride I was in my mother's womb when he designed me I called you I ordained you so you walk with me and say Holy Spirit I don't know my way I don't know my way many people claim is their power and their might many people claim I understand church planting many people claim I know how to be a man of God but can you humble yourself and press for the knowledge of him the knowledge of the Holy Spirit will require time and it will require submission one thing I know about the Holy Ghost is he hates arrogance the Holy Spirit hates arrogance when he comes to you you are not colleagues he's not in you as a tenant he's in you as the landlord what will happen tonight brothers and sisters is credited to him it is him that reveals Jesus here look how many of us have wasted time listen to me I'm speaking to you there are many of us seated here you would have been working in your destiny already five years from now but this stubbornness of of not listening to him oh holy I, 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 all these church things no he told you go and serve in church by now certain things in your life would have gone ah. we wait on you Lord we wait on you I wait on you Lord we wait on you I wait on you Lord I wait on you I wait on you Lord I wait on you You are welcome. That's what I've done with my life. That's what we've done with Koinonia. Fill this temple with, with your, your presence. presence. Hey, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait. Lord, we wait on you to open up my destiny. You are the only one who can open up my destiny. level you are just walk with him you may have no iota of unction right now forget about anointing be foolish enough to hold him let him lead you let others go just walk with him you may be behind but brothers and sisters there is an unction he will put something upon your life that will shake the nations and take away the boastings of men God is never too slow with men never too slow if he's the one that kept you know you are faster faster than anything you can imagine faster there are many arrogant pastors claiming that they want to do ministry but they ignore him they like human connection but they leave him alone i will never forget years ago the spirit of god will keep me and said son never try to rush anything just walk with me just walk with me like he's telling someone now don't rush your life I know you think everybody has gone ahead of you don't rush that marriage don't rush that thing walk with him one day with him will cover 10 years of mistakes walk with him apostle I have no job just walk with him just walk with him if you were working five years ago all your salary put together would not be more than six million walk with him Aish. 
the Holy Spirit fortunately from next week I'm starting a series the Lord has allowed me to take a series we're taking a series on the Holy Spirit a complete I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people the Holy Spirit you ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent I went to Harvard you ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child Hi. will I ever be able to leave him I know you are looking at me is because I'm the I'm the part of the deal that is visible but behind me I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see I'm not ashamed of it oh. there is one who is mighty mighty there is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see if it is the Lord's doing remember then it must be marvelous if it's a man's doing then it is natural scientific but the moment it becomes marvelous it is the Lord's doing you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. hey. you are marvelous yeah. by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for walking with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to walk with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. But one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. Not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. I... How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? How do you look at someone who is dead? And bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have written you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth I told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of God you don't just honor a body 
you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to host certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace has separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, I, I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah holy spirit it's grace and glory i trust that god will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the holy spirit hallelujah yes the holy spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people seven people seven people seven people Call your people, oh God. It's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy. The sister outside, for he will be real to you. Real to you by his spirit. This is not an issue of jamboree. It's not an issue of feeling anointed. It's walking with a person. It will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you walk with you so you become an effulgence of that grace then you can say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have heard. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your Son and leaving your Spirit in your work in my life is done. I thank you. Oh, my Father, for giving me your Son and me your Spirit, your Word on earth. Please sit down if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. Ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lake. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it.
forever faithful to what you'll always provide for me. Praise your mercy to what you Praise your way. allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit, Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle, it's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. Lifting, lifting. He's raising you. Raising you by his spirit. Raising you. There is an unction that makes this possible. Raising you by his spirit. I hope I'll be able to finish this. The mysteries of the kingdom. That's the third thing. That you must seek to know not just the word of god not just rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the holy spirit is coming upon her please i want i want her to come overflow three i'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there please sit down let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk there are so many people you must access the mysteries of the kingdom everybody say mysteries a mystery is a secret code of operation the kingdom of god operates based on systems and you see these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power the first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles the second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship two dimensions of God's power so you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension the moment a principle is consistent with the character of god it will release a dimension of the power of god like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by god's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration you know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom but what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility because the Bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back. But do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible? Are we together? Do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy? 
Yes, you know that divine healing is a possibility. But what controls it? Laying on of hands? No. No. Laying on of hands is just a channel. The inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that. Are we together now? You have to understand. The power of God is released through light. Remember the scripture Habakkuk. There was the hiding place of his power. Are we together? When you understand that, you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them. It doesn't even have to be a miracle service. The very understanding you have will respond to a man's need. The same way if I stand with you and I have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if i have tuberculosis and you stand near me must i believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now i'm standing close to you it vetoes whether i agree with you i can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if I can transfer sickness, why can I not transfer health? Are you seeing that now? That means I can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you. Life. Being the light of men. You see that? That's the concept of whatsoever is born of God. Not whosoever. Whatsoever is born of God can overcome not by jacking yourself and understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting God all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but God's God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see it says with God with God watch this I've taught you alone it is impossible but with God with God alone I cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with God all things all things all things are possible i want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the lord god of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs nigeria not the power that governs un the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know God number two that's redemption and everything that concerns God in the person of Jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people the body of Christ many people say the body of Christ is not just a church there are people the body of Christ is not people the body of Christ is a strategy the only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia the body of Christ the body of Christ is not a people it's a strategy that's why he said I will build it I will build it he didn't say I will make it I will build it like a formula like a plan and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it.
there is a formation that the body of Christ is built it is so formidable the gate of hell can only touch members not the body the body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell are we together never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God first Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is say for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of Christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body so when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems remember the teaching yes a system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization it's called a system so in every dispensation there is a way and manner God wants to be known and the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is Abraham represents the system of the blessing the journey of a believers blessing starts from him system are we together now Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival Elijah is not a man Elijah is a system I've taught you this the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord the moment there is a visitation upon a people Elijah must come that's why Elijah is still alive God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival for the move of God is called Elijah is a system the man Elijah died he's simply a man named after the system the system continues the Antichrist is a system not just a person you see that Peter a system that represents faith 
systems on earth today there are men who are not just human beings but systems when you trace the ministry of the holy spirit it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth today right now it will end with benny Hinn. you see that benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle he's a system he represents that possibility no one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body this is called the mystery of discerning the body kenneth copeland today represents god's system of faith and prosperity start from any point in the world you will start moving from mantle to mantle grace to grace and it will land back in him there are many systems like that you will never get this through prayer and fasting no matter how you pray god will lead you to those people he will give you encounters but he will lead you there is a system i have provided it is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities how much of the body do you know imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body discerning the body is different from destiny helpers destiny helpers are not systems destiny helpers they may not even be born again they are just people that god anoints to help you get to your destiny there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial he says even among the stars one different from another in glory not in shape in glory hallelujah praise the lord if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now i can't criticize papa Ia Deboy and bishop oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes it's impossible carry posters everywhere it will not happen there is a system this is not publicity it's a spiritual reality so in honor of what they represent i am authorized to access that reality that's why you are here tonight let me tell you something listen carefully you see this thing you call koinonia koinonia is not a ministry koinonia is a system you have to believe this it's a system it's not a movement it's not a fellowship it's not a group it's a system it's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of god i, I want you to be very hopeful so that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere so no matter how far you are you have come to mount zion certain things happen this is not just some human bragging a man of god trying to shine his ministry no tonight you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in god please listen to me you're standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what i call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of god over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done 
Hello, Kim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, Kim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be to make an altar call quickly right now everyone stand there are people here overflow one two three following us online in this place right now the bible says this life is in his son you don't hear about the son and receive life you meet the son there are people standing here men and women scattered around you are a pastor leader deacon gentleman lady old young rich poor regardless of your status jesus said ye must be born again there are people here who have not met jesus we have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the holy spirit in this place you are here inside and outside you have heard what i said and whilst i was speaking the spirit of god the one we so honor was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happen somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it I want you to come the first sets of people can come out when they come and here is full then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows just close to your projector but I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain right now one quickly quickly run to Jesus from the depth of your heart you can keep standing you don't have to lie down or kneel down God bless you you don't have to kneel down madam you can stand quickly two don't think about it run to Jesus and this life is in his son and this life is in his son and this life is in his son 
man of God I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not join them quickly join them quickly I remember coming out for altar call one day but right now I'm not sure no if you are not sure you have to come out when a woman is pregnant she knows you are not sure join them something is wrong with what happened to you three are you coming apostle I'm trying to come out but my neighbor is stopping me we rebuke that spirit trying to stop you come out come to Jesus Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men I will be ashamed of you before my father let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you I think we have enough people inside now every other person that comes just direct them to their various overflows outside those coming from outside you can wait there now every moment I'm away Lord have your way Lord have your way hallelujah madam look at me you, you love Jesus Christ come I'm seeing you you are not working well what's wrong with you what's wrong with her who brought her because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain come what's wrong with you from where are you program so she now told me that I should come and attend the program so For I have diabetes and ulcer and my back pain here from the back here down to my leg everything yes I'm feeling the pain very well that is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here so that is why I came here mommy look at me every one of them you heard what I said everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to Abuja Amen. Amen. you believe that yes sir. of course if it doesn't work your sister will not ask you to come hallelujah I'm going to lead you people to pray join them to pray we're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go the ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing the ultimate cure is Jesus a man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says thy sins be forgiven and people say ah what is this and Jesus said which is easier hi that means to be healed is easier than to be saved so it's not as easy it's not just recitation are we together mama I'll pray for you go back and join them those of you standing here the overflow lift your right hand and sincerely you are not reciting a point from the depth of your heart I want you to say this after me say Lord Jesus no, some of you are crying but don't worry Jesus sees your tears say Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today the Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to do something for me very quickly please cooperate with all the people um, whether outside any of the overflows there is a gentleman waving his hand some um, of the uh, ushers there i want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam i will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we're waiting for them please make sure we're going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night 
and I want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes God it doesn't take time it only takes God very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the Lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please be serious in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that every spirit every force every influence standing against God's word over my life I declare that you are under judgment tonight lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shapra tas kala brato shobri gede balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. Such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Lift your hands and just be silent. Please. I'm seeing two numbers, five and one. And the Lord is saying there are 51 people here. 51 people. He's bringing massive deliverance to their families. I want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of God that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve right now I release the ministry of angels Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. Shalabrakataya. Break it to Shubrata Kalabraska Labriata. Shapraskata Brakatele Katia Labash. So break it Ali Braska Bariata. Embrekoto Shoto Pareketa. The 
fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Sekete Nakata, keep your hands lifted. Malekete Pekete Nakaya. Ay, 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 Hallelujah. Help that lady, please. You are mighty, young Lord. Break forth down fountains of the deep and with Hallelujah. You are mighty, young Lord. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence right now. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy in the name of Jesus. I release upon it the power to perform those influences in the name of Jesus. I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all you reign you reign you reign you reign, Kadosh. You are mighty on your Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Jesus, I'm seeing gates. Gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I open those gates. Kadosh. Gates be open. Gates of limitations. Gates of stagnation be open by the unction of the Spirit. Gates be open. Efata be open. The gate must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesied the two lift gate be open. The two lift gate. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families. No progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. 
a gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three i open it i open it i open it online outside i command it to open i command it to open locked by ancestry locked by divination locked by necromancy and projection manipulation of the constellations i command in the name of he that holds the key of david i command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the spirit of god is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a lady quickly there's no time to speak our time is gone we have to pray for the sick but i'm seeing a lady you have two sisters two of them are barren they are married no children please where are you it's part of your prayer request you are wearing a black dress you are the one come Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, I will be blessed. Ah, there's witchcraft in your family. Look at me, come. You are a great lady, but there is terrible witchcraft in your family. There is a lady, again, the Lord is opening my eyes. I don't know why this happens. I'm seeing a map, Benway, Benway, Benway people get ready, Benway, 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 I see Benway and the Lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway, I stretch my hands right now, the anointing of the spirit visiting people, Benway, 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 by the spirit of God, by the spirit of God, hear me, and I'm hearing in my spirit, break the covenant of motherhood, I don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women i arrest it right now in the name of jesus i see fire dropping right now people from benway you are from benway you come under this influence please help that person. benway benway the spirit of the living god the spirit of the living god traveling to benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land. Release the destinies tied with you. Listen. What I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision. And I'm standing. And I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees. And the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. 
let it come upon you now hallelujah the supernatural I've taught you operates only in partnership with five elements listen without one or more of these elements the supernatural cannot find expression guy I'm seeing a wild this is a serpent I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again I'm seeing a serpent I stretch my hands the Bible says for the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not now listen carefully five elements of the supernatural number one is light the supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light number two the air sound the supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound number three the earth the earth is a universal point of contact every living thing makes contact with it number three are we together number four water the mystery that bears witness water is not an entity water is history water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit contained within it are more mysteries than we understand number five fire a mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is god can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the Lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the Lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters they are married no child are you married you are not married we have to pray I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you but God is raising you to be a savior in your family believe this thing no you may not look like it but it is the spirit of Deborah but first and foremost you must be delivered first God is not finished with her I command that devil go there is no hiding in his presence in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands my dear in the name of Jesus the Lord God whom I serve I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now over your sisters over your life and over your family I command them to be broken right now I release upon you grace for restoration in the name of Jesus and I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men I release that grace upon you I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh the Lord comes for them with strange visitations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now all those under the anointing I command the spirits any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three you know my voice I represent his majesty at the count of three you must let them go now and forever one two three be gone go out of their lives destinies now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray 
we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough i want you to stand on the ground i see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen i want us to shout the name of jesus three times that's what the holy ghost is telling me i will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening thank you jesus let the word of god come upon this prophecy are you ready now number one Are you ready? Number two. Libra Katu Soto Barikata. Now I want you to get ready. That grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run, overtaking the chariots of Ahaz. Speed and advancement is coming on people right now. Are you ready? Shout Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement. I command you to advance. I command you to move forward. I break limitations. I break limitations. I command advancement. Outside advancement. The overflows advancement. May that anointing hit you. Advancement. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, no power can stop you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Help me. Our God is healer, awesome in power. your hands towards me don't lift it up stretch it towards me there is there is going to be an activation of strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts the time for impartation will come but fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands 
in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gift 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 don't man gift don't man gift where is it I call it forth now don't man gift don't man gift you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gift gift I stir it up right now like a well I command it like the axe head I command it to float right now I command it to float right now gift that will bring you honor gift so toko toko to perekete gift hallelujah hallelujah gifts there is a lady i'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit you are dressed in something that looks like orange like the house are dressing from your head to who is that who is that come from this row jesus praise what's your name veronica from where i came from abuja you came from abuja as i stood here I was hearing your prayer and you were saying lord let this man of god locate him and the lord is saying i should tell you that two things now number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life that's the first thing that is happening to you captivity and reproach captivity and reproach inside inside the main auditorium from where people sit in front count nine lines nine rows one two three four five six seven eight nine the power of god is coming on somebody on that row right now inside inside it's a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of god my sister what do you want the lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh i'm looking at you oh and then i'm seeing your heart and i'm seeing should i say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer point. that's that's you want the lord to honor him and what what is he doing now i'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of god has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 Maimuna, I wish we had time today, but we have to pray for the sick. I want us to leave this very fast because I'm going to counsel. Well, just leave her. I found a person, but but you come, my dear. I want to pray. Who is this? No, 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 no. It's not just any grace. I pray for you, my dear. Lift your hands. God wants to visit your family. There are four people here. A very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now. No, 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 no. Four of you right now. A strong power is hitting you right now. Just in this, this place outside. I don't know what it is about this place. Maybe the miracle services will start coming here now. There is there's real faith in this place. My dear, I end it now. I end it now in the name of Jesus Christ keep your hands on her stomach I end it now I command that reproach taken from your life in the name of Jesus don't come out for social reasons but I'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue 
a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this room lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe tears madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where what is that is there a place like that in the gala land Huh? in Kogi State so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn will come from lift your hands I'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the Lord is you free madam where is your child did you come with your child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of witchcraft, now. And on you right now. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray Kai, one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god you are standing alone you must be married in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the holy spirit please stand you can go you can go pastor alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody i notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. We, receive we receive your visitation, your visitation. in the name of jesus we receive, we receive miracles signs Science. and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of god is there to touch you in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why I came here? Because I saw that this woman, your issue is not just healing. Hold on. I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport. And then I'm looking at it. And I saw a plane. Is it something like you were staying outside the country? Is that true? Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a woman, a plane, bringing you. Is that true? Uh-uh. 
and the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing another vision I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir he drove yes sir from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar from where where is he this is you God, one week. Oh my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other mind. We are together in our blood. We are together. Are you, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said, as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So he married another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby. Yes, sir. No, he, uh, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now see, said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect. But you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again not just people who have money huh? don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe, one bag and just carry you around like that it must be godly look at what this man did for this woman one week and left her with this innocent child, so where are you staying now? I'm staying out in Abuja so my it's sister. from Abuja you came? yes sir what do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, And she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a penal state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman, but she didn't look. If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now he went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid. You are using the baby to make to get power. You see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of god you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together help me you're the god of awesome he stood up your power The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit 
that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now they are not even no 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 i'm not seeing peace huh i'm not seeing peace i'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone and then i'm seeing another man's text and the man is giving her a dirty slap slap on her face bible said what god has joined what's his name simon in the name of jesus christ by the power that created the heavens and the earth i call you back to your wife in the name of jesus may you encounter a man of god and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there and i declare in the name of jesus this baby will not be a bastard baby i speak to you every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby we cancel it right now madam look at me i decree and declare the favor that was on esther that made hadassah look at her once and had to call her to be his queen may that favor come upon you listen don't go to any native doctor you hear me because i'm seeing one mama coming to you in abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody she told you he's a man of god he's a native doctor don't go anywhere huh and number two anybody that says you should bring one naira what did i say one naira for prayer just thank him and walk away if, if this poor woman you still collect money from her for prayer then you must be a very wicked person isn't it in the name of jesus he will return with testimony my brother come are you working what do you want god to do in your life um, i'm a pastor so when i i mean god called me into ministry so in the field the back to be i mean the came so tough the the attack and the uh, foundation it became so strong so i took off i i couldn't stay but up, up to now god is still calling me back to where i serve him i've been serving him to where where, where were you serving in kogi state no you need mentorship you need covering you need impartation you don't just get up like that and go into ministry god saved you they would have killed you like a chicken there are rules to this thing eh it's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down you get up and go to kogi state do you know what pursued you back eh? is the mercy of god it's not witchcraft they would you would have died like a chicken please listen i'm not scaring you but there are systems don't get up out of zeal and just say i am anointed be careful as powerless as satan is is your understanding that this depowers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the lord my brother hold my hands i'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of jesus christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction in your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of god is very powerful when there is grace back in it because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace of two of you supernatural gift of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah benga come grace for another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire 
fresh dimension. You speak and there is power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. No word will be empty. You speak and there is grace and the power of performance. Hallelujah. Someone come and hold. Victor, come. Come and hold them. Somebody. Grace. Supernatural influence. And wisdom. And victory. In a strange dimension. A dimension you have never seen in your life. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. I open up that level. Grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Where shall they? We're rounding up. They are doing their. Please, someone, hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. These people will have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that. Ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace to see. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus Christ fresh fire i'm not it's not like i'm just speaking people this is this is just by the spirit come the lord is bringing glory on you fresh fire even upon your hands in the name of jesus christ listen you see hold on we're out of time but pastor house on the rock come you have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire. May that grace. Take a drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. Open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit on that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. This foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are in ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing it. A new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace. And a new one is supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Close fountains. I open up now. Close fountains. I open up now. Fire. Fresh grace for influence 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 business influence new grace new dimensions of wealth influence commanding miracles strange miracles collect that child from hope collect that child from hope in the name of jesus fresh fire hope i activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of jesus god is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of jesus where's aaron aaron where's aaron in the name of jesus christ 
the Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ God, something is coming strong go for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one, two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren Never to be buried. Where is Yerima, head of department media? Please come quickly. Quickly, I'm praying. Where is he? Oh, that's him there. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he's bringing you honor, untold honor, untold honor by the Spirit of the living God. Untold honor, untold honor, untold honor. Now I decree and declare. Jordan, where's Jordan? Jordan bookstore. I hear restoration. Where are you? Restoration fire. That restoration fire. In the name of Jesus. Everything the canker worm, the palmer worm has stolen. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God comes upon you. And you begin to run like Elijah. I prophesy speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's Pastor Alpha's wife just hold her there is heavy so in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying have I not said I will bring you favor it will manifest God is bringing favor after you give birth to your child pastor your family will step into a strange level of favor it will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child the moment the child is born in the name of Jesus Christ there will be strange miracles by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for you the kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life I declare receive it now receive it right now all your tithes your giving God has released the blessings but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit Jabakatos Kebranda Lates Kaprete Kapariatos I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the Spirit of the Living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth, to mock your God goes down immediately I say it again whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you to make sure that you die or any bad news from your family I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May 
by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are walking and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your world life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry the God who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit 
I pray in the name of Jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to I decree and declare Maraka dos calibre de tela tol Mare dos copre te que la bariatata Be lifted now in the name of Jesus Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your business Whatever you do Be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your ministry Be lifted now in the name of Jesus They are taking for a prey And none say it restore I say restore I prophesy restore In the name of Jesus Dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message Do not keep the video to yourself Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline